everybody, welcome back to Words of Dad Cubed. Right, despite my little memory, what I usually do is I look at photos. Yes, when I look at photos, it, it, it sparks some of my memories, it sparks good memories, yeah? So the one I picked up the other day was actually when I got married. I've been married, I'm like, coming up to 30 years, I think this year, 30 years. Unbelievable, eh? Yeah, I know, I know, yeah, yeah. 30 years, well done, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's because of the wife, it's because of the wife, you know what I mean? She's good. Anyway, 30 years, so anybody, so I'm looking back, it reminds me of a story within it. We, 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 on our honeymoon, we went skiing, right? First time I've ever been skiing in my life, the wife loved it, she loved skiing, so I said, Jemima, I said, oh, of course, it sounds great, you know what I mean? I like the cold, I like the wind, it wrap up warm and that, you know, the place looked gorgeous. Went to Italy, the yeah, Lavinia in Italy. It was beautiful, yeah? Really, really nice. So for the first couple of days, I mean, I, I didn't have any lessons, but she tried to teach me, but she did, she was quite good. Taught, teach me the basics, like I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> younger in them days. And she told me the basics, I could get on. As long as I could get down here, I was happy. You know what I mean? The L, I.E. Mountain, yeah? So we stayed down the valley a little bit for about the first three or four days. But people said, if you go up the top of the, up to the mountains, up the top of the mountains, I prefer usual, of course, you know? Because you stay in the nursery slopes. So we go right at the top. You go at the top and the snow's better up there, you'll be better. So off we went, up the top. Within the first week, not being big but I was quite good. I was, get, I was getting down and out, I was doing the old traversing, whatever they call it, you know what I mean? And, and you know, from there on, I mean, I always love skiing, but it, it was getting really, really good. So, of course, being in a hotel and all that, even though we was on a honeymoon, we started to talk to other people, and we started knocking about the gang of us, you know what I mean? There was a, quite about about four or five, six or seven of us, I can't remember now, you know? I think there was eight, actually. But it was like all our, our, our age group, or my age group, because the wife's a bit younger than me, in our age group and all that, like, you know? But it was quite good. So the, they, the, the wife used to say to, him, to my wife, like, you know, you know, hey, you shoot off, have a good, because you're better skiing, mate. You know I mean? I'll stay with him, I'll stay, I don't mind. So great, so she used to shoot off, come back. Anyway, so this particular day, <laughs> let's put a story, man. quick story, I went off and come back again. You know? <laughs> so anyway, so this particular day, we was going to go like this, this. We, we'd done the same course, it was up the top of the mountains, go to the top of the mountains, down this lovely place, and right to the hotel, which was great, so you could ski right to the hotel, which was beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> no, he's right. So, oh yeah, was, oh yeah. So we're kind of like, so we we kind of sort of mountain bit, you know, big crowd was like that. This time there's a whiteout there. People have skiing before, and like a whiteout is very windy. You can't see it, dude. It's very dangerous to ski. In. So they've closed a couple of the the on the the ski things like the um, lift, the chair lifts, and whatever to get them up there. Yeah, so um, they've closed up. So all we had to do, we got to a certain point, so we had to come off piece, which I've never been before in my life, off piece and, and slide back. To the ski bats, like back, ski back to this other station and go back down the hill again. You know, go back down to some other place where you can get back up, you know. So it, it, it makes sense to me at the time. It probably makes sense to you when you've that no, one. But it was all closed, so we had to make our way back. The only way to do it was to actually go off piece. I've never done it in my life yet, which brings me to the story. <laughs> So we all looked at each other and I said, right, that's what you've got to do, just, just slide over there, right, you can see the station at the back there, because the, the, the white hat was right at the top of the hill, right at the top of the mountain, you know, we was about halfway. So go over the top of there, go take it easy, Steve. They all said to me, take it easy, and they'll shut off. Well, I'm, I'm by myself, like, I'm quite confident there, so I didn't really care, like, and I can see them in no distance, like, you know. So I set us off nicely, like, set off, okay, well, okay, set us off nicely. <laughs> Bosh is the old skis at the thing, you know what I mean? Got the skis going. No, nice and slow, but nice and slow at the time. Like, but I thought, gee, I'm going a bit fast, I'm going a bit fast. So I tried to slow myself down a little bit, like, you know, by doing a bit of a snow player. Yeah. And so what happened was the snow player kind of disappeared into the earth. It was, I don't know how deep it was there, but it was very, very, very deep. And I lost one ski. One ski kind of, kind of dug itself in there like that. And one ski stayed above. So I was kind of like that. One foot in the, in the ground and one foot out. And this leg was completely in snow, so it must have been a few feet deep, you know what I mean? Completely up to a groin, you know what I mean? A bit vulgar, but up to the old cockless. So, so I, I pulled myself out, I looked at the others, like, they, were, they were going kind of like waving you away, you know what I mean? They couldn't get back up to me, they'd have to come back up. Oh, so I said, yeah, so I got, got, got my foot back out, I sat my ass like, you know? <laughs> and I was scared, it must be, because it was really deep snow, really, really deep snow. And so I stuck the ski on, like, it managed to push myself up and got the other ski on. And went down, got down to the bottom, like just as slow as I could get. <laughs> this is the, the help they will give me. I'm glad like, the help they will give me. We all got there, they were laughing and giggling at me, like, like you know, you know, this like just things. I said, oh, I'm a learner for Christ's sake, can I be your experience? And they all looked at me and nearly left in one voice and went, Don't turn on deep snow. And that was the advice don't turn on deep snow. I fucking nearly lost my leg out there, and I went, Don't turn on deep snow, you know what I mean? And that was it, that was the advice. <laughs> So I learned, I learned, which was good, yeah? I learned, do not turn on deep slow. 
Yeah, so deep snow. That's it, that's my story. It was quite funny, it was scary at the time, but it was funny as well. But I'm here to tell the tale, and I've been skiing after that, you know what I mean? I had lessons after that, which, which I was getting quite good, but now the old knee's a bit dodgy, I can't ski no more, which is a shame, I think, you know what I mean? After the operation, it's a shame. But that's it, that's the story I thought of today. It's been a cold day, you know, I'm gonna get some photos, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scan them and stick them in, so if you had to see a few of these photos as well, you'll probably see them before this, yeah? So I'll see you all later anyway, bye!